Beauty took out the title of Miss Universe 2018. Miss Philippines beat 93 hopefuls from across the globe to wear the coveted crown. Sporting the sash for Australia was 24-year-old Francesca Hulm, who showed off her funny side to fans when she was the final contestant to make the top 20. Here's your chance, national TV, one joke. An optimist and a pessimist met in a bar. The pessimist said, oh, things just couldn't get any worse. And the optimist said, no, of course they can. I said I could tell jokes. I didn't say they'd be good. I uh, love that. But it wasn't meant to be with Francesca missing out on a spot in the final ten. Three-time Grammy Award winner Neo opened the show and serenaded the ten finalists during the evening gown section. While Miss Spain made history as the first ever transgender contestant. And Francesca joins us now live via Skype from Bangkok. Francesca, good morning. Congratulations on making the top 20. What a whirlwind. How are you feeling after yesterday's finals? Um, it's still all soaking in, but uh, it's currently 5 a.m. here, so I'm a little tired. Oh, wow. But I'm um, so excited. Wow. You, you recently said on the Daily Edition that your biggest threat was Miss Philippines because she is half Aussie and she went on to win. So what, what was she like off camera? What she likes, she is just like, you know, any other Aussie girl who grew up in Australia, so has those same sort of values and ideals, but um, she was born for this role. She's a, a you know, well uh, brought up pageant girl, so she's going to be an amazing rock star and spoke person for this movie. Okay, so you've been in Bangkok now for a week rehearsing and going through preliminaries. Uh, it's a pretty intense schedule, right? Yeah, well, actually being here for weeks now, um, yeah, it's pretty intense. We're working on about three to four hours a night, at least, last week. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right, so very, very uh, hectic. Um, it, it wouldn't be a beauty pageant without a bit of controversy, so we do need to, to ask you about this. Miss USA was accused of mocking non-English speaking contestants. You were kind of dragged into that scandal because you were there. Um, were you worried it may have affected your chances? Yes, I mean, obviously nobody will tell you if it did. However, I kind of, so you know, leading up to the final, I kind of process in my head that it could perhaps have a negative effect on my placement, and you know, I'll never know if it did or not, but I made top 20 and I'm happy with that. Yeah, you, you were trolled online because of that. How, how did you respond? Look, I've actually never experienced anything like that before, all of that sort of online abuse and attack, and I definitely, I think I spent about three days in tears, and um, I had my first panic attack, which was great. It's hard when you're here as well. You don't have your family around you, so it, it can be really difficult, and you're in this really strange environment. So I deleted my Instagram at one point, and I just didn't look at anything, and then after a while I realised that I can't change other people's perspective of me as long as I know my intentions are pure, people around me know me, they know that I would never say anything like that, literally, so I had to be okay with that and let other people know what they want to say. Yeah, okay, well, what happens now? Are you taking some time out? What will you do next? So I've got, <laughs> I need to sleep all day today <laughs> and then I'm going to head to Phuket for about four days. Christmas Eve. Great. Four days in Phuket fixes everything. Uh, thanks for talking to us, Francesca. We know it's like, what did you say, 5.30 in the morning there. Really appreciate your time. Yeah. And congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank okay. you. Off to bed. Yes, appearing via Skype there, which sometimes can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes. So, but thank you, Francesca, for making time for us. All right, still for you here on The Morning Show. A lot more to come, including a multi-millionaire literally giving all his money away. Well, it's happy hour in my...